think of it like you are giving your class 10th mathematics exam, right? And there you get a question of trigonometry. Now, you are seeing this question and you are thinking that there could be two possible ways that you know and only one could give the solution, right? So what you do is you create a new box on the right side of your answer key and you write rough curve there, right? And then you solve that question with both the ways and so and you see that which way is giving you the answer, right? So now what you do, you bring that solution to the main area where other answers are written, right? But why I am saying so? It also works in very similar manner. It basically keeps its changes in different stages or different areas, right? So all the changes that you have created in your local system are initially in the working directory that is the rough work, right? And all the changes that are relevant to you or are important for this project, you bring them to the main answer key and that is your staging area, right? So all the changes and the files that are relevant for your project that you would want to save them in future, you will bring them to the staging area. By this, you say to the gate that I want to track the changes and files that are in the staging area, right? So now let's say over the time you are working on this on this feature, and now you have created many files and changes, and you basically segregate the changes that are important for this project and you bring them to the staging area. Let's see how to do it. So here in the project, you will uh, open your project directory. And first thing, whenever you are working on project directory and you are, you know, doing some commands, writing some commands related to Git, you have to first type Git status so that you know at which status you are, right? So yesterday we created this directory and there we created two files, file one and file two, right? If now I use this Git status, you can see that here it is saying that I have some undragged files, right? So Git automatically detected the changes. But now it has kept them in the rough place, right? So first place that was the rough work, right? So all the files that are in red color are basically in rough work and it is saying that these files are undrived, right? It means that Git is saying that I will not take care, I will not bring them to the GitHub family, right? So to tell Git that you should take care of it and these are important, right? So let's say file 1 is important and file 2 is important. So let's create file 3. That was just a rough work for us. So file 2. Just test the code, right? So let's say this is the file, and now if I again do git status, we'll see that three files will be coming. Cool. So now what I want is I want only file one and two to be in the staging area, so that when I finally save the code, these changes only come, not file three, right? So to do that, I need to use a command that is git add, right? And after git add, I need to specifically give the name of the file. So first give this file name one, put a space, and then copy the file name two. And then put a space, right? So finally, after this, let's enter and now let's do again git status. So now in git status, you can see that these file one and two are coming in green color and file three is coming in red color. It means that now we have started tracking these file one and two. It means that when I want to save this, these changes and these files will be coming in that snapshot of my code that will be saved, right? So now let's say I completed this feature. Let's say I was working on this profile feature. Now I completed it over the time and I want to create a snapshot, create a version of the code or let's say I want to save the code, right? So the first place where I will save the code is my local system, right? So to tell it that, okay, I have done some part or I've resolved some bug or completed a feature, I want to save this code. I want to create a snapshot of a code. I want to create a version of the code. To tell that, I need to use a command that is git commit. So when I say that my code is committed, it means that I have saved that code or I've saved that version of the code with the new changes that I brought to the staging area, right? So now I'll basically do git commit minus m. So this minus m means that I want to give a message to this version, right? So to this commit, I want to give a message, right? And why I want to give a message? Just because it can be used by my fellow developers working on this code base or in future, if I want to refer to this change, I can I can refer it with this message, right? So git commit minus m, let's say I build profile each. So it's up to us whatever we want to give. So now I press enter. So now when I press enter, it means that I have created a new version of the code, right? So to check that, I'll use a command git log. So here we can see that I have a commit. So what 
git does it it automatically creates a id of a particular snapshot or a version or a commit right so now it created this id but we cannot always refer with this id and that is where we will refer it by the message that we gave that was built for that feature right so it will say it will also give the author that is me and the date when this happened cool so now guys i also want to discuss one thing so if i have created this comment or a snapshot where i have created it still i am working on my local system my laptop so my laptop only knows this right so we discussed that there are some dot git folders that are created right so at this time those dot git folders would be updated that okay i created a new snapshot so until now github does not know any right only my local system knows that okay this is the version this is a new version of the code the new changes that is created and this information is with my local system not with the remote repository that i created on git right now if i want to send this code to git right the internet i have to use a command that is known as git push and then the address of this location so what was the address the url no we gave a name to that and you guys know i gave a name of origin and then after that i need to give something known as main let's 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 do it and i'll tell what main is so now when i do it guys it is saying that okay everything is compressed and then there are some files that it has sent it to this particular address cool so now let's say and go on the internet and see if these files are updated or not cool so now when i update this page you can see that these files are updated and here i can see that there is one commit one commit means one version and here this is the commit message cool so let's see what this mean is here we have to give this mean with the command so in the next class we'll see what this means Cool.